In this video, I'm gonna share with you the new Merch by Amazon design editor. I just got it and I wanna show you what it does. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I've been using Merch by Amazon since 2017 and Merch by Amazon just got a little bit better. So they release this design editor that I just got today. I think a bunch of you might get it soon. I'm in tier 100K. They're releasing it from the top down. So the first people that got it was 300K tier and then 200 and 100. I don't know how far it goes, but I'm thinking they're gonna release it pretty quick to everybody. It's a game changer. Before this, you would have to make like five designs, one for the shirts, one for the hoodies, one for the pop sockets, and one for the pillows, and one for the phone cases and all this stuff. So now all you have to do is do one size and you can shrink it to fit all the different products, kind of like you do in Redbubble. Now this is gonna save you time because you don't have to make so many different sizes for the different products. Now you can just make one size if you want. I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, it's really simple. We're gonna get right into Merch by Amazon right now and I'm gonna show you with an example and show you, hopefully answer all your questions that you might have if you don't already have this. So let's get into Merch by Amazon right now. All right, so here we are on Merch by Amazon. You can see I'm on the Create tab, but before I show you this, I wanna show you this, that I'm gonna use this design right here and you can see this design is, the dimensions are 6,000 by 7,200. I made it bigger on purpose just to let you see that it doesn't matter what size you can make it you know 45 and 1 pixel or 5000 pixels or 5200 pixels it doesn't matter it's going to import it what they suggest is at least 4500 wide so that you can get the maximum space here so uh, that's what i would suggest if you already have things at 4500 wide just keep it at that and you don't, won't have to worry. But this is just gonna show you right here at 6,000 pixels, it would still work. So if you have red bubble designs that you wanna make bigger so that it will fit on um, duvet covers and shower curtains and things like that, you can still use those here on Merch by Amazon. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna drag this file into here. That's all you need to do. So drag it in, boom. And then it's gonna take a little while depending what size and what kinds of filters you have. Mine's a bigger size, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but you're gonna see that it's gonna be on all the products. Let me make sure I turn on all the products. You can do this here. Everything turned on, all marketplaces, all products, pop sockets and everything, it's gonna load on there. And it's gonna try its best to fit on those um, depending on the size. It's gonna look at it and, and see, but you, you may need to make some adjustments. So. Let's go here, you can see it's loading already. Uh, we can see all of them, loading all of them. Now you don't have to, like previously, you would have to go click on these and then it would load you know, up to the sweatshirt, I believe. And then you would have to click on the hoodie and then it would load these two. And then you'd have to click on this one and it would load the pop socket and then this one and this one. Each, each one of these you would have to import all the time. So that's gonna save you some time as well, not only designing different sizes but importing them one by one that was a pain too so simplified you can see um here's my b just a simple design uh and you can adjust these here so even though i made mine really big it will shrink it down at a hundred percent because I didn't go to edge to edge on my 6,000, you can see at 100% it fits right there. And you may not wanna go edge to edge, and this is what's the nice thing about it, is you can bring it in. So if you've designed it too big, you can shrink it down. I would suggest not designing it too small because you can only go up so much, right? So that's why you wanna do it at least 4,500 so you can shrink it back. Um, you don't wanna design small like this because you may not be able to um, that might be a hundred percent if you did that. Okay, so all right, so we're gonna fit it in here There's some tools down here that are new as well. This one will center it Horizontally, so if you click that you can see it tries to center it I think on my side I didn't center my design So it's only going to center it from what you centered on yours So if you didn't center yours, you might have to eyeball it Which is what I'm gonna do here and this will center it vertically again 
vertically for the whole thing that you did. If I, if I look at mine, hold on. So you can see on my original file, I didn't center it right here because this, this would be the center and I didn't center it left and right. So it's centering it depending on your document here, right? Or your full PNG. So be very careful to, to center your design inside of this as well. I would actually bring it, I didn't do this, but now that I think about it, uh, I would actually go edge to edge so that it does center it better and then center it between here and here as well. So you can take advantage of that. So you can eyeball this, move it around. All I'm doing is clicking on here and dragging. I'm holding down the mouse key and moving it around. So very nice, just like Redbubble. And then this is reset everything. So if you don't want it like this, you can reset this. And this one is to remove the artwork. So if you want a different design on the t-shirt, for example, than you would want on the premium shirt, you could delete it and then in theory, just upload just this one right here. And let me show you how I do that. So I'm removing this one. You can see everything else is still there. And I'm just gonna drag and drop the, the same file here. And sometimes drag and drop doesn't work. You can click on it and then just pick that design from your desktop. And you're gonna see it's gonna take some time to load it up. So it's thinking about it, thinking about it. One thing you can do as well is put it on the back of the t-shirt. You can see you're gonna to have to do that separately. So same thing, if you wanna put it on the back, you're gonna to have to click on here, pick whatever file you want on the back and put it on here. So here it is back again, it uploaded it again because it's the same design and I can move this around again. And then same thing with the colors, that didn't change. You can still pick the same colors that you want that works well. So let's go into premium, same thing, back and front, got these same you know, horizontal, um, vertical things and you can scale it. So if you want it bigger on the premium shirt, you can do that. Let's say the premium shirt, you want it all the way to the edge and a little bit different than the standard shirt, you definitely can do that. They're all independent. So next one on here, same thing. If you want it bigger on the V-neck, go right ahead, do that. And I like this because sometimes you do want it bigger. The placement's a little different on the different t-shirts and it might work better on the tank top, for example, for it to be bigger. So now you can do that, which is really cool. Same thing with the hoodie. Let's look at, well, we'll get there. Long sleeve, another one. So you can see it's a lot bigger area here. So you may wanna make it just a little bit bigger on the long sleeve. Same with here. Right there, that's looking good. That looks good. Now the hoodie, you can see before this, you would have to make it a different size, but now you can make it, you know, fit the hoodie size if you want from edge to edge right there. And you can also put them on back. So you can put it on front or back of any of these. Again, if you want the front on this, it's front by default, but if you come over here and you want the back of the zip hoodie, you would have to go to back and then upload the thing here. Click on here and then upload it to the back. And you may want to do back because you don't want it to be on the zipper. So you can see by default, it's still in the front here. And guidelines is just to show you there's a zipper right here. And then front here is just to show you it's gonna fit over the whole thing. So let's do that. It's kind of a neat thing that they do. And cool. So here are some new ones with the pop socket. So the pop socket is really small. So you can see I'm at 7% and that's probably where you're gonna wanna be. I think 8% might be just a little bit bigger. Let's do eight. Oh no, that fits. So you can see this line right here is this kind of the safety line that we saw before. And for preview, um, you can see both. So design and preview. I like the preview right here, but if you wanna see a bigger preview, you can see it right here anyway. And then one cool thing about the pop sockets on all the other ones below is you can add a background color. So click on here. Uh, they have you some, some default colors, but if you wanna make your own hex color or RGB color, you can do that or just pick one up here. It's really, 
responsive. I want to just do black so I can just pick black like this and you can see it's black right there and then just click outside of it to let it go. This one right here is to remove the background. If you decide, wait, I don't want a background, I just want it white, then you can do that as well. So we'll have to go back here. I actually want it black. And again, you can go here if you want a different artwork, a different design, you would click this remove artwork and just like we did on the t-shirt, you would click on here and find the other artwork if this doesn't match. So, and the same center vertically and center horizontally, all those are the same. Same thing with the phone. I really like that there's these marks here to help you know where it fits. So you don't wanna go outside of that. You can see right here, if you do go outside of it, it kind of goes past the edge, right? Right here, see that? So, I mean, that may be something you wanna do anyway, but at least you have a good preview. Now, if you want a bigger preview, of course, you can click this right here, slightly bigger, and you can come back and like, oh, I, got, I still got some room on the right. Let me just, just move it here and preview, yeah? And again, I want, I want this black, so I'm gonna click on here, click on black, and there we go. So let's do the Samsung, same thing with that. And I like these guides here, so you'll know that you'll be inside of this camera area if you do that. So come in here. You don't wanna put anything important outside of these lines is what they're saying. So if you have an artwork that you want them to see, make sure that it's inside these lines. I kind of like it going outside of the edge with this design. So I'm going to go back on my other phone case here and I'm going to go back and do it over the edge. Yeah, that's looking cool. All right. Um, lastly, tote bag. You can see, make it bigger. Same thing. Um, Kind of like it right there. And then let's do a black again. And I like some of these pre-built colors. I believe it's some of the same colors on the t-shirt. So we got, you know, let's, let's try them out here. Got that one, kind of more of a lighter one. All the colors of the rainbow. If you can't decide, you can pick one of these. Green, blues, purples. Um, what do we got? pink, yeah, um, and then the grays, I believe, and some white and black. So it's a ni nice set of colors, probably every color that you need unless you want something super custom. Uh, I wish they had an eyedropper so that you can drop in. Is this the eyedropper? No. If there was an eyedropper merch by Amazon, that'd be cool because then you can pick the colors from your background right here. So just a thought. And let's see. Last one. And the pillow, kind of cool. Black again, right? And it, again, you got the preview here, which is really cool. And you can preview the different sizes as well. So I think we covered everything. Scaling, front and back. Um, let's see, anything on here? Yeah, I think we did it all. So we already know this button, remove artwork and come in. So that's it, just the same design on all of them. You can see, really cool. I mean, it, it takes some time to do this, but I really love that you can come in here and make sure that it's the right size that you want and see it on the t-shirt. Because before, when you designed it outside of the t-shirt, um, most of us, at least me, I was just designing it and putting it on and hoping that on the t-shirt it would look great and on the hoodie it would look great, but now you can actually do that before you send it, save it. So this is what you would do, you would save it. One more thing I wanted to show you, if you don't have it on all the designs yet, I'm gonna show you what you can do. It's super simple, you don't have to drag in anything else. So let's go to that design right now. So here's an example of a design that I did back in Halloween. Uh, last year, I believe, but I didn't put it on the pop sockets and the phone cases and the tote bag. So what you could do if you have a, something like this, uh, you could just click on these now. And guess what? You don't have to upload any of these designs anymore. So this will be a really good time saver too. So let's go in here, continue. You can see it automatically added it to here, whereas before you wouldn't have that option. But now you can go in here 
and it just remembers what you was on these right here from your old one and you don't have to make an extra design for your pop socket you can come in here and just use this one right and same thing like i said this the pop socket's the hardest one i wish there was a stepper because it's really hard to just go one at a time is it back and no or arrow arrow would be good merch by amazon if you're listening because i think eight is right there we go oh see kind of kind of tricky eight nope eight come on eight there we go eight's probably the the size that you want right there i would default to that uh and you can see here same thing so i'm not going to do all of them we know how that works but you can see it big time saver now you don't have to make if you wanted to add to pop sockets and phone cases and pillows you don't have to make three more designs it just remembers what you already have super super quick so i'm liking this this is a great uh, addition to merch by amazon the thing i think they didn't say this and i'm just guessing but they probably did this because they're going to release even more products right can you imagine uh, if they have more products here this would be a time saver now you don't have to make another design size for this product and the next product and the next product i'm excited to see what they're going to come out with i bet it's coming soon more products to merch by amazon just a guess uh, which is why they wanted to make sure they got this out first so that now if you if they add more products they can just you know still use the same design so excited to see that so hopefully this video is really helpful for you uh, if you have merch by amazon and hopefully you get this really soon so that you can start using this and save you some time so that is it for this video hopefully this video is really helpful for you if it was make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps in the algorithm and if you're not subscribed to this channel already make sure to hit that subscribe button right there the question of the day for this video is what do you think about this new design editor in merch by amazon do you like it are there things that i missed uncovering is there something else that you wanted to know let me know in the comments what you think about it love to hear your thoughts on this thanks again for watching and if you want to see more videos on what to do for print on demand make sure to click on these videos right here and as always guys keep creating and keep learning i'll see you on the next one bye